Well, what do you know? Instead of pressing pause, I press stop again. Oh, so this is part two of a such a simple exercise is now becoming so long. Anyway, um, I went ahead. I, I was doing this as I was. Um, <laughs> I thought I was recording, but anyway. So what I did was, because I changed my mind a gazillion times while I'm crafting, I just stuck this on here. I thought it just made it look um, prettier. And I also went ahead and cut the excess from the edges. And what I'm going to do now is, because uh, um, I'm using black thread, I'm going to go stitch around here and here. <coughs> as well as on this uh, the, the pocket here and i'll be back in a second let me stand up and do this so that i don't press stop instead of pause okay so i've stitched with black thread around the edges of the pocket if you can see this as well as around the edges here and i like the the contrast of the black thread and the and the fa and the uh, fabric as well as this here um also because this is so white here we have to distress it we have to darken it up and this is uh even though i've used uh, pinks and stuff like that here this is a very grungy maybe not very grungy but it's it's a grungy journal so I use this uh, makeup brush to, to distress things like this. Works very well. I don't want the person opening the pocket and seeing all this white um, paper. So we have to make it look like the rest of the journal. So I just put it all over. Right. Hmm. So nail stuff and makeup stuff is good for other stuff as well, not just not just makeup. And the profile picture that several of you have commented on, thank you for the compliments by the way. Uh, was Mother's Day. My <clears throat> my daughters decided to try and make me look presentable. <laughs> And I thought it turned out quite well, so I used that as a profile picture. Because why not? Just a little vanity once in a while, why not? <laughs> and distress the corners as well. And I always use, I've never bought any other distress ink from tim holtz except this one vintage photo this is the only one i buy i think i should uh, because i like it so much but i think i should try and try the other ones as well because there are so many this doesn't matter it's not going to show and neither is that so i think we are done let me trim this better here otherwise it won't close properly Okay. Uh, the next step is to make the closure things, <laughs> and I just use this is the back of a uh, uh, what is this a cardstock something that I had, and I just cut two out from here because I want to make the uh, the thing thicker. And two from here. Nope. Let's do that later. And then I glue them on. So this one to this one. And this one to this one. I use this glue here as well because it somehow makes it stiffer. 
and boom press it make sure it's in the middle <laughs> okay and again on this right let me clean my fingers okay so that's pretty much dry and again I take my where's the makeup brush here and distress the heck out of it that's the difference I even have some on my nail <clears throat> okay that's good looks good looks good looks good yes then we have to wrap this off okay then we take the crocodile this is one of the best investments that I've ever made made my life so much easier we have to find the middle yeah this side and if it is the middle kind of and then here as well good and then make the holes here as well in the middle kind of like here and then another one here now I see that I've forgotten something I forgot to stitch here so I'll be right back I'm back we've done this now wait no we're not done yet wait um, so I need these eyelets here everybody knows how to do this I think right uh, put it through the hole one at a time I'm rushing now because my son is coming home from school in a minute he's just started going to school and coming from school on his own I was very nervous about it but everybody else does it so and he wanted to finally so yeah I said well we just have to sometimes let our kids, you know, do go out there, you know, can't hover around them all the time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is first I'll stick this part here. Now, why am I talking instead of just doing it? So let's do it. And I can't believe this is going to be a 30 minute video just to show you how to make such a simple thing. Ay, ay, ay. Um, normally, but because this is not the normal uh, way that I craft, normally I'd put this piece in the journal first because I can really s smash it down nicely and make sure it's glued on at the back properly. But because I have to show you the end product, I am going to do it this way this time. You can even turn it around like this. Come out to the edge. <laughs> Measure. La, 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 la. Yeah. Good. Is it in the middle? It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. There we go. And 
then decide am i still in focus here and in the view of the camera yes i am put some glue and did i tell you guys as well that i use this wood glue to make my homemade mod podge for my decoupaging and stuff like that I think I did in other videos you just water it down and it's really good so then I just do this take it up wipe my fingers first take this thing majig and do that and do that oh I'm happy I've, I managed I've made it to the end I have all right so when you see this again you'll see it's got full of ephemera and and uh where's my butter knife again don't tell me it's gone missing again please <laughs> oh my gosh. all right then wow maybe one day oh here it is here it is then i just smooth this down and there this is my butter knife. People meet my butter knife. That I use for all sorts of things in this on this craft table. There. Then I take um some wax thread because again theme is blackish. And I am going to see it's gonna be too long. You can check though. It has to wind around this way, come down this way. It's too long because we don't want to waste. We have to check, measure. And then let's try it again. Boom, boom. Still too long. Here, here, here. Oh, too short. <laughs> oh my goodness, Clara. Yes. Um. <laughs> And then find, like cut it, uh, measure the other half with the, you know what I mean, do this. <laughs> oh gosh. And then tie it. Oh gosh, that's so fluffy. Like that. And like that. And there you have it. It's done. This is done. And... I decided to make this pocket normally I put the pockets up to here or so you know but I want it this way because I want what I put in here to really show you know so and I have this uh, um, uh, five millimeter space here so I can put stuff in here that's gonna be thick you know so that's why I, I, I didn't put I made it low like this well, this is a story for another day so um, I will be back soon bye for today